I'm Liv Kenya and my friends and I are traveling from Nairobi, Kenya all the way to Cape Town, South Africa. You're using the garden route, using this car. This is our story. Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. Thank you so much for joining us in this adventure. We are currently in South Africa, which is our sixth out of the nine countries we'll be touring in this road trip. So stay tuned and enjoy. There is the train. So guys, we are hoping to use this train tomorrow. It is an electric train, just passed. <laughs> We're in the University of South Africa. We were supposed to have gone to the CBD. We put on the map and then Patrick's map brought us to the University of South Africa. <laughs> <laughs> now we go to the gate and then we are being asked, eh? are you coming for graduation? I think graduation is soon. It's either today or tomorrow or just someday soon. Yeah. Eh? Are you going to the graduation? And then Jen is there. We are going to the... The art gallery at the <laughs> university and we are, we are allowed. But at least we've gotten this close to the university. Guys, we've rerouted and we are now heading towards the central business district. And I've realized that in South Africa, uh, people use the red brick to construct their uh, their buildings. So guys, today we'll cover just what we can. Uh, I believe that Pretoria is a very big city. So there are some places we might not cover, but maybe in future we will. But most of these buildings are just made of red bricks. Ruth Mombati. So there is a route for the BRT. I think they have a BRT system for the public uh, public vehicles like this one. There is their stage. You can even see the road has been demarcated. The private cars on this side and then the public service cars on the other side. And the buses are, are purple. one thing about uh, Pretoria 
there is a lot of littering. The streets, on any open open space, people just litter. And I think that is maybe because uh, in, in South Africa, polythene bags are not yet prohibited. People just use polythene bags for carrying stuff, for packaging stuff. So there's a lot of littering. government buildings for different government ministries so we are trying to access the union building we don't have to necessarily get in but we've been told that we need we really need to see it so here we are you are officially in the union buildings and I can already see the big statue of Mandela down there I have to go and take photos otherwise the most amazing part is the is the fact that we can see the entire Pretoria city from this far. Look at that. So from what I can see from where I stand right now, is that in Pretoria there are so many places where you can view the entire city, like where we were in the University of South Africa. Also Pretoria is not necessarily a new city, it is an old city. Because look at the buildings. They're not so modern. And the building behind me is my highlight. It looks like those, it, it must be a government building, probably up the parliament. I actually think it's the parliament. And we are not allowed inside. So we'll just access where we are allowed. Hi. Is, is, is this building the parliament? Yes. Ah. So. It's confirmed it's the parliament and the public are not allowed inside but you are allowed to go down there where there is the statue of Mandela. So there is the parliament. You can see to the memory of South Africa who fell in the Great War. You can see the building better here. You can see the entire building. Nairobi is very expensive. Hmm? Ah, I mean, it's not no. as expensive as South Africa. Ah. In 2008, I was in Mombasa at Malindi, uh -huh. uh, Watano. Ah. Yeah. Ah, yeah. you know too much. <laughs> <laughs> if you know Watano, you know too much. Uh, yeah. <laughs> no, I love the country very much. That's why I go every year. You love Kenya? Yeah, and Tanzania. I love it very much. Yeah. <laughs> the only problem is that I haven't made any effort to learn Swahili. But you've, you've understood what I said. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> what is Afrikaans really? It's a mixture of German, Netherlands, all of that mixture. Yeah. And any local languages? Nah, it's not mixed with local. Local is mixed with Afrikaans. Uh -huh. Like Chwana, they take Afrikaans words and they twist it and they make uh -huh. it. Yeah. <laughs> Tswana is for Botswana. No, no. Do you have Tswana yeah. in South Africa? Yeah. yeah. But it's not the same as the Botswana one. There's a difference. So when did you leave Kenya? Uh, 15th of October. Mm -hmm. So what I do is I take uh, almost the same route as you. Mm -hmm. I go Botswana, uh, then I cross over the new bridge. It used to be a ferry to Zambia. Ah, yeah, yeah. 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 Ah, it's so such a beautiful bridge. bridge. Did you come over it? Yes, yeah. we used that one. And then I go to Vic Falls. Mm -hmm. But at Vic Falls, I walk from Zambia to Zimbabwe. Ah, yeah, yeah. I walk over the border. Yeah, yeah. 
because it's more beautiful from Zimbabwe side. So next year I want to go to the Zambia side. Zambia and side then want to, because there's also a pool called the Devil's Pool. In Zambia. In Zambia. Yes, I've Zambia. been there and so the, the go there with your swimming costume. The, the Minister of Tourism, the Minister of Tourism in Zimbabwe, mm -hmm. is saying this on national TV. He says Zimbabwe is like looking for, uh, at Big Falls. It's like we're looking at a woman from the front. When you go to Zambia, it's looking at a woman from the back. <laughs> <laughs> the monument is worth taking a photo in. So the, the, the sculptor is so good that he, told, he took the exact image of Mandela. Sacrifice, all that sacrifice many birds. Oh, look at the garden. Wow. <laughs> so this building here is to remember the, the people who fought, freedom fighters who fought during the World War One. Their names have been imprinted there, all over on that side, even at the center there and at the end. Their name liveth on evermore. So let's go down there. This whole property, I think it's so big. And I love the fact that it, the lawns are well, are well taken care of, there are flowers all over. Okay, one of the flowers we've seen there is weed. Yes, it's weed. I don't know how comes that is allowed. People from South Africa, please tell me, is it allowed for people to plant weed in South Africa? There's another monument down there. Yes, down there with, with uh, uh, I think a, a horseman and his horse. So we could not get down there because it's so cold. But you can see the view of the Union Building here. The Union Building is their Parliament. Yes, it's at their Parliament. I don't think if it's accessible to the public, but yes. So guys, let's go back to the city. So among the vegetation that you see here, you see some spinach, you see some beans. Some spring onions, and then the ultimate plant. You know it. You know what I'm talking about. You have seen what I have seen. <laughs> South Africa will show me wonders. but it's so cold it's 10 degrees celsius and we are not used to this you know we are from tropical nations so some temperatures are a bit extreme for us but other than that you can see some very beautiful buildings next to the parliament it looks like there are some residential area near the near near the union building that is so different New union building is apparently their parliament so you understand. In Kenya, that is a very, very sacred place. You cannot go unauthorized. We've not covered, covered the, the entire CBD. Actually, we've just covered a very small portion of it. So a city like this one, I'm sure it would take me maybe, for me to really cover it, maybe five days. But because we have limited time, we'll just make do with what we have. Sheraton Pretoria Hotel Haya, it's also here. Victoria Art Museum, yes, it's one of the places we were supposed to come and see, but clearly we've run out of time. Pretoria. The buildings are very beautiful, even though I know they are not they are not new, but they are very beautiful. So it means that they are well maintained. Actually, right opposite this place, there's a park where there are so many homeless people. I don't know. But just like any other city, there are usually homeless people. So that is not strange. It's just how the city works. Different cities, that's how they work. This is a hotel. Arcadia Mansion. 
and then McDonald's. Before I leave South, Af South Africa, I must try the McDonald's uh, food. I want to know why why people like McDonald's food. Yeah. McDonald's and Starbucks. Starbucks yes, I want to understand why people love them too much. Wow. Wow. Just wow. Guys, something interesting is wherever we go, when once we just park, there will always be someone who's asking, Where is where are you from? I've seen your number plate looks very different. Which country are you from? <laughs> and then when we just say Kenya, they're like, oh, you drove all the way. Huh? <laughs> Wow, look at that. Wow, look at that church. It's around 5.39 and it's a bit cloudy. So the vision might not be so clear, but from our eyes, our eyes visions are better. So whatever we have seen, you have seen. <laughs> yeah, we're just driving around. We don't know the name of the streets. So you'll bear with us. There are traffic lights all over, they control the traffic. That is why even if you get some jam somewhere, you're almost assured that the jam will, the traffic jam will, will, uh, you'll pass through it, as in it will move. Now, the beauty of Pretoria are these jac jacaranda trees. Oh my god, they form a very beautiful canopy. They, they use they, they use bricks to make their buildings. I've seen some pillars up there. this old building wow you people look at this at this church i told you south africa has beautiful churches oh, right next to that church is that building over there looks like an old building and that tall building oh my god they have so many skyscrapers
Wow. It looks like a mosque. You see the present on top? Yeah, it's a mosque. Why does it feel like Christmas? <laughs> we are in Brooklyn Mall. Yay! This is our first mall in South Africa. It feels like Christmas. The price of the meal. Yes. Is the cream sour or whipped? A little bit sour. Oh, a little bit sour. Oh, but it's nice. Oh, we intend to enjoy the. We intend to enjoy the tacos. <laughs> you will enjoy it. You know, we just we were passing by and then we saw Mexican. We said today we are eating Mexican. <laughs> Mexican in South Africa. from South Africa. How these are the Ubers here? <laughs> here is our Uber. One of them. Good morning from Hartfield. We are here at the train station. Today we are going to Johannesburg. We are taking the train today. Have you been to an electric train before? Okay, I'm at Hartfield train station and this is my first time I'm using a train actually, even in Kenya, I've never used an SGR. Are you serious? Yes. No, 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 no. Now I, I'm disappointed. Why? Why are you disappointed? SGR. Yeah, I've never used an SGR. Oh, it's good that your the first train is going to be an electric train. And also we are dressed like uh, we're in... Eskimos. Eskimos, huh? Overdressed. So don't mind our dressing. <laughs> it's, the, it's the weather here. Yeah, it's so cold. So let's go and experience the Hartfield train station. Uh -huh. yeah. Today is the job birthday. Yeah. And mm. we're excited. Yeah, to make by the and then by the day, guys, we've been told that the the rugby the rugby The spring team, box will be arriving yeah, today. They'll be arriving today. So from from eleven to three, the trains to the airport will be free of charge. Absolutely. But now unfortunately it's already it's ten. We'll be leaving earlier one hour before that. I yeah. wish we could take could have taken the free train. Kenyans and free things. <laughs> I, I, I love free things. Okay. So if we could have taken the free train, we could have gone all the way to the airport. Yeah. To be our chance to get to the airport. But we have our schedule is so packed. They'll be closing down some some roads. Yeah. So it's the best the best way is to use the train because I'm sure there is there is going to be a lot of celebrations today. And by the way, we'd like to give a hearty congratulations to the Springboks team for winning World Cup. And, we are proud and, of you. And for and for winning when we are here. Yeah, we experienced that. That's, it was an epic experience. Yes, yes, yes. Yeah. So guys, let's go to the train station. There is the train. Oh, oh, oh. I'm excited, Adia. Yeah. How did you manage to get the cards? It was so seamless. Uh -huh. How? What do you do? You just pay, uh -huh. because you should have this card, you pay 20 rands for the card uh -huh. and 74 rands for transport per person to uh -huh. Rosebank. Uh -huh. And then she says maybe by the time you're coming back, uh -huh. right now it's cheap because it's off-peak uh -huh. time. 
We paid 75. 74 uh -huh. per person. If you come back, if you come back later, maybe it will be big. The rate will have changed. Okay. So we will find out. In fact, last time we were told it will be 150, right? Yes. So 75 is a fair price. A fair price. So look at the train schedule. You might just save yourself some money. Yes. That is how it's written. Go train. I've come with an Audi. That was my Uber today. But now Audi is a luxury car. So you will get it with Uber Black, not Uber X. We had ordered with Uber X and Audi came. It was 53 dollars. 53? Brands. Brands. Now, uh, we were told that the Pretoria train station does not, does allow, not allow Ubers. Ubers. So we had to change to Hartfield. When we changed the location, it changed from Uber X to Uber Black. Instead of 53, we paid 110. It was a pain. It was a, it was a painful whatever, but it was a very nice ride. Ah, it was worth it. <laughs> it was a nice ride. <laughs> ah. So, there is this train here. I think this one is for another schedule. We are waiting for another one to come there. First experience in an electric train. This is how it looks. Jen, yes. you outside. Yeah, so good. <laughs> so guys, you're already on the train. You get to see South Africa from the train. This is our view. And this is just how cold it is. Here goes the tunnel and then we have to be tunnels. Now we turn into a hill. We are talking to 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 a hill. We used this GR before, the, the Kenyan SGR before. Well, I've used the SGR several times. Uh -huh. Compare. And in comparing to this one, they are fairly the same. Yes. All exciting rides. That's true. my first time in a train and I'm so excited you can even see a is excited at, at that far end <laughs> so damn man uh, life is good <laughs> so Victor Victor is, Victor is saying all, all the morning preps that you used to wake up do so, not go in bed I used to work hard in school so that I can afford his life <laughs> Mm. These are wholesome experience. Yeah. yeah. I love it. Mm -hmm. oh. I, I, do you want to return using a train or we can use the BRT buses? I really mean a train, Mimi. Ah, it's Pretoria. So this is our first station. Some people are boarding and then we continue. But meanwhile, let, the, let us continue with this. <laughs> confession let's see how kenyans are behaving in trains in, uh, in trains in, so we are in south dressed, africa so. but then we are, we are dressed like our politicians dress when they go abroad eh? <laughs> <laughs> heavily dressed so this by the way this is not how we look this is just clothes eh? covering cold no 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 Oh my god, uh, this is a jacket, this is a trench coat, and then I have a shirt, I have a vest. Uh, hey, I'm my literally friend. wearing two jackets. It's so cold. By the way, the temperature here is so extreme. Are we on the right train? <coughs> we, are, we are reversing, guys, and we are scared. Are we on the right train? So, we just go to Rosebud, and we are, we are meeting Kefilo here. 
He's one of our fans. He's been graceful enough to guide us around. He's been kind, he's been generous with the guides and all that. So we are supposed to meet him in Road Bank in the next one now. We are going to Starbucks there to try their coffee for the first time. There's a first time to everything. Welcome to our life. My coffee will have this powder. It's called matcha. I'm told it's healthy. So I'm expecting some very green coffee. Goes my look at that. It's green. Something similar to Morinda. You see, it's green. It's our first time in Starbucks. We just knew that there is a Starbucks in South Africa and we had to try. We wanted to find out how different their coffee is and why they're so high. How is their coffee, Patrick? It's, coffee. it's just like any other normal coffee. So you can just go to your normal coffee shop, buy your coffee <laughs> and feel like you're in Starbucks. There's no difference. I've tried some herbal one. There is something green. It's called, they are telling me it's called matcha. I'm told it's a healthy drink. We use some honey here, yeah. but it tastes like moringa. It tastes like moringa for a first time trial. I think it's nice. You can try it. It's actually nice. The coffee is just the same like any other coffee you've ever tried. If you've been to Java, trust me, that coffee is better than this. Let nobody rub this on your face. It's normal. So. You get my point. the red bus and what is happening we have split the group the guys have gone to watch the rugby players have just landed you remember south africa one they have just landed and they are going around the airport for like uh, until until three uh, from 11 until three people are just there they, they are there to celebrate them they are going around the the we airport to go but uh, but we are just being rational yes. because if we miss going around Joburg today we won't have another chance so we split some of us we are going with the red bus and they're going to the airport so you will see a little bit of everything huh? yes. I'm sure you have a little bit of everything but of course there will be celebrations later so we will go for the, the rest of the celebrations see you yeah. and it's so cold imagine you are alone basically everyone has gone to see rugby basically everyone has gone to see the rugby to welcome the rugby players so we are the only ones <laughs> it's raining but we'll try to show you as much of the city as we can we just hopped, hopped off the bus and we are heading towards we're heading towards Nelson Mandela let me see Nelson Mandela Foundation You want a photo with Nelson Mandela? <laughs> From reading the exhibitions, I think this is just about empowering the society and taking care of the environment, empowering of the local community, the less, the people who are mostly ignored, making them seen. Yeah, it's about just empowering the society and making lives better. It's a very beautiful exhibition. Look at that. Key areas constitutionalism, dialogue and advocacy, mostly advocating for the poverty, inequality, race, and identity, mm -hmm. 
and looking at those oppressive past for the last three years is land mm -hmm. reforms, mm -hmm. early childhood development, mm -hmm. personal identity, I was already said that. Mm -hmm. So those basically are they are key initiatives. initiatives. Yeah, 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 and initiatives. National animal is the springbok. The national animal is the national fish. Hiya, yeah, this is the first. This is the first country I'm seeing that has a a national fish. Southern right well. I've never known there is a something like national fish. The entire foundation. Do you know what has caught my eyes? Yeah. This. The writings of this was. Yes. Yeah, me too. That Same was close. Mean that Nelson Mandela is dead. Yes. So there's a lot of comments. Hey, there's a lot of mixed reactions. Look at this. Death is a small barrier when his hope lives on through us. Yeah. Life goes on. There's this one love others. They say he was a traitor. I tend to disagree. So forgiveness and equality. I also stand for that. Forgiveness and equality. I'm not sure about I'm not sure if South African people are getting the equality, but it would be nice to have that. It would be nice to have that in South Africa and everywhere else. Uh, this weather does not want us to, to enjoy <laughs> job. Yeah, no, you gave me the wrong, the wrong day. Uh, Only God can decide which day can I do. Yeah, for sure, for sure. Yeah. It is a beautiful city. Okay. Yeah. Is this where Mandela stayed? Mandela's house. Oh, that is his actual house. Yes. Sanctuary Mandela. Hiya. So foggy. Look at. Me. I wish the skies were clear so that you guys could see this. I think it's called the Monroe Drive. Monroe Drive. So guys, we are in the Constitutional Hill. You see that entrance. And then there is this one right here. That is the map. So let's find out what this place is about. I think this is a very artistic place. Look at that from the entrance. I'm really wondering what the sculpture is about. Some people have given their bodies and soul to pull others along. That is the literature you can pause and read it.
Kefilo and Elena, our local friends, offered to take the gentlemen to O.R. Tambo International Airport where they were going to welcome the Springbok rugby team who had just won the 2023 Rugby World Cup. Upon arrival, they realized that the Springboks team had already left the airport and therefore they decided to just do a tour of the international airport. OR Tambo International Airport was initially known as Johannesburg International Airport and it is one of the biggest and the busiest airports in Africa.
Later, we all met up at Rosebank Mall. It was such a pleasure to catch up with our friends and update them of our trip since we left Nairobi and we already had planned for the next weeks. We, they also gave us a lot of insight on how to maneuver our way around South Africa. So guys, we are back on the road on our journey to Cape Town, but first we'll pass by a couple of cities and towns in South Africa. We will also explore Lesotho, a landlocked country within South Africa. Stay tuned for more episodes that are coming in the next couple of weeks and please like the video and also share it with your friends and family. If you're joining me for the first time, welcome aboard and please consider subscribing to the channel because there'll be more awesome content coming through. Bye!